pure God power. Get everything you ever wanted and live the life of your dreams. The Master's Course. Copyright 2010 by Richard Lee McKim Jr. All rights reserved. Let the quest for knowing begin. For best results, pause this video at this point here, and watch the video example mentioned in the segment. The links are located in the book chapter, and at the end of the book. If you are watching this online, you will find the link for this video example listed in the notes section. Then, after watching the associated video example, continue watching this video from here. What does this example show, and what does it mean? This video example shows in a clear and understandable way what resonance is. From this example, you can easily visualize the guitar strings responding to each other in resonant fashion. This video points out the two most important things to remember about resonance. First, resonance occurs only in the presence of like frequencies and will not respond when the frequencies are not a match. Second, the response is automatic and requires no additional energy, nor does it need any physical action on your part. It is a natural function of nature. Resonance is so automatic that it would respond in a glass box where no one could touch it as long as the sound vibration reached it. The resonant effect will continue as long as the primary vibration is activating it. It is very important to understand that resonance causes a mutual awareness and activation of the like frequencies. It would be like a guy at a party looking to meet other people like himself. So he shouts above the noise of the crowd, I like fishing. Suddenly, there are several other people in the crowd who shout back, me too. They end up coming over and they start talking about fishing. When he shouted that he liked fishing, he was transmitting a certain frequency out into the world around him. As he did this, those who had similar likeness, liked fishing, responded in the same way with the same frequency. He elicited their response by sending out something about himself. They didn't respond by saying they were hungry or they wanted to dance. If he had shouted, I like ballroom dancing, he would have had a very different result. If there were anyone in the room who also liked ballroom dancing, they would have responded. But the ones who liked fishing would have remained quiet and unmoved. They would not have resonated with that particular frequency. Okay, let's look at this illustration here. Here it says, if the same frequency, if same frequency... So we have the physical meaning of tuning fork number one, which is its frequency. And here we have the physical meaning of tuning fork number two of the same frequency. And what do you get? You get resonance activated and a response has been elicited. It vibrates and creates a sound. Here it says in gray, the same frequencies will activate, resonate, and elicit an automatic response. So here in the illustration, we've got two tuning forks, and they're shown on resonating chambers, by the way, which just helps amplify their sound. You see somebody striking the first tuning fork, causing it to create a certain vibrational sound, and that vibration is traveling, and as it reaches the other tuning fork, since the other tuning fork vibrates at the same rate, at the same frequency, it starts to vibrate in response. So the first tuning fork is activating the second tuning fork. Importantly, nobody has touched the other tuning fork. It is responding just because it's in the presence of a frequency vibration 
that is the same as what it vibrates at. So you strike the tuning fork, and the other tuning fork begins to vibrate. Okay. Here it says, when you start the first one vibrating at a certain frequency, the vibrations reach the second tuning fork of the same frequency, and then resonance causes it to start vibrating also. The frequency vibrations from the second one now come back to the first one and begin a resonant action between the two of them. Which means that once the other one's activated, it's now generating a frequency, which the first one naturally resonates at because it was creating that same frequency too. So they resonate with each other. They're each vibrating and causing the other to respond. So both are now vibrating. Both are now activating vibration in the other. And so they're causing a resonant action. They're both totally aware of each other, activating and responding to each other. That is the property of resonance. Okay. Now here we have a second illustration. This one says, if different frequency. Okay, so we got the physical meaning of the first tuning fork. That's a certain frequency, whatever that might be. Then we have the physical meaning of the second tuning fork, tuning fork number two, but it says it's a different frequency. Okay, so we got one of one frequency, one that resonates or vibrates at a different frequency. So what do you get? Here it says the physical meaning result, no resonance, no response is elicited, no vibration is activated. Here it says in red, different frequencies do not activate resonance and elicit an automatic response. So here the guy is striking the same tuning fork, the gray one, and the other illustration we just saw, and the vibration is going just like it did before, but we see it reaching another tuning fork, which is the color red, which just indicates it's a different frequency, and it's not responding. It's not vibrating. So, if there's a frequency vibration in the air, so to speak, and the tuning fork is not the same frequency of that vibration, it's quiet. It doesn't move. It doesn't vibrate. But if the tuning fork is the same vibration as we saw in the prior illustration, then it suddenly becomes, it gets activated, and it suddenly starts to vibrate on its own. Importantly, nobody touched it. It's automatically responding, coming to life, activating on its own because it's in the presence of a frequency that's the same vibration that it responds to. Okay. To continue, go to How to Use Your God Power, Chapter Number 5, Segment Number 3. Let your quest for knowing continue.